Okay, so I think this is probably the most important tutorial I've ever done because I'm busy showing everybody how to turn themselves into venom and not how to get it off at the end of the day. There is going to be a moment of sheer panic when you think to yourself, <laughs> is it possible to get this off? Is this real life? Am I actually stuck like this forever? Don't worry, I'm going to walk you through it. I've also done this to a lot of people and um, have had to get them out of this. I've never done it with the glitter on top, but I have done it with the uh, silicone based or silicon, I don't know how to say it, whatever. This stuff, the MAC acrylic paints, it's a silicon based stuff, it's water resistant, um, it's a beast to get off, which is why you saw me do a base with a water based cake makeup in my ears because I am not trying to get the silicone stuff out of my or silicon or si whatever whichever derivative of that it is um, I'm not trying to get that out of my ears I would rather work with water based stuff but glitter doesn't stick to this so yeah what you are going to need is this coconut oil any kind of coconut oil doesn't matter what um, other oils work I prefer coconut oil now it's going to be totally solid like this when it comes out of the jar. So I'm gonna sample it out. Um, sampling out is just a fancy, ugh, I, I keep like looking at my computer and not at my camera. Okay, it's just a fancy way of saying, bear with me guys, I'm old and this is new. Uh, it's just a fancy way of saying you're gonna put it in a different container. Okay, so I'm just putting a ton of it in here. And then I've also got a roll of paper towels. You're just going to lightly dust this over one part of your face. Whatever you do, don't scrub. Now you see how gingerly I'm doing this. I'm not using any scrubbing. Because you're going to have to do this like 10 different times. And if you scrub, you're not going to have any skin left. Um, that actually kind of looks cool. I want to do that for a shoot. Alright, so then I'm just trying to wipe away the excess. Lightly. You just want to get off that coat. Now, you see how much that's not taking off? That's the reason you don't scrub. Oh, and um, I don't have this, but you're also going to need a waste basket that's readily accessible because this stuff will get everywhere, especially with the oil on it, and then your life will be destroyed. So I'm going to go find that. Okay, I thought that was going to be a seamless exit, and it was not. And I have no room. Glitter fills everything. Ah! Okay. Shit. Okay. Now we're going in with coat number two. Now, I'd be careful not to get it in your eyes and wait to start messing with your eyes until the very end. Just, you know, kind of trying to get that off. Now... I'm going to go to the bathroom and try to actually rinse some of the glitter off so that I'm not exfoliating quite so much. I'll be back. Okay, so this is what you'll look like with a once-over of rinsing. I kind of feel like a superhero, um, but we'll leave that for another tutorial. Now the thing is, as this starts to loosen itself up, you're going to want to wipe this away, otherwise you're just spreading this all over your face. So got a nice coat of roux, went through the brows. Let's, uh, let's wipe it away. Now once again, don't go hard. People have broken out from this stuff before, but it's not actually the makeup they're breaking out from, it's the way they're trying to get it off. So it's usually when somebody panics and starts scrubbing really hard that the irritation starts. I know, because I've done it, but... Good look. Okay, and coconut oil again. Even though I've done this about a bazillion times and I know better. Nice and soft. Nice and light. It's going to burn and hurt otherwise. I guess I get to see what my nose would look like if it were like... What do we do again? Oh, 
Now, because you have this craft store glitter on your face, you gotta be way careful around your eyes. If it gets into your eye, it can scratch a cornea. So don't try to work anything down and into the eye. You're just trying to loosen it and then get most of it with a paper towel. All right, it looks like we're about ready for another rinse, so I'll be back. Okay, so you see my skin isn't actually that irritated, and those of you guys who follow know I have rosacea. So little bumps like this, if you have any, they'll start to really show up, especially if you scrub too hard, so just don't. Um, so now I'm going to go in with another coat of coconut oil. You need to change out paper towels. It's a good thing roots are in, because we. Alright, now I'm putting it on my ear. And you're going to have to check your ears in a side mirror. Otherwise, you'll have black stuff in your ears for a few days and you won't notice it. Okay, so I'm going to go pop in the shower. And then I will show you what happens when I'm out. Okay, so I just got out of the shower. This is pretty much what you can expect to look like. You could go in with a little more eye makeup remover. I don't really care. I'm just going to go in with my moisturizer. And my moisturizer tends to get a huge chunk of it off. It's like still more. It's this little inner corner that always sneaks a lot of black. I know how attractive is this, right? I look like a sad little wet chihuahua. <laughs> I don't normally look like this out of the shower. I look exceptionally bad right now because of all the black. There's like one in the crevice of my nose. I'm like all in my eyes. <laughs> Clearly I have no dignity and I don't care. Okay. So yeah, so that's pretty much what you can expect if you're doing this. Your skin's not going to look quite back to normal for a couple days. You're probably not going to want to wear white shirts for a couple days. And um, you're probably going to get a little bit of black stuck in your hairline. And your sheets might also be stained as well. So yeah. But I hope that helps. That's how to get out of it without shredding your skin and going through bottles of expensive makeup. Um, the first time I did Venom, I was scrubbing with Dawn and olive oil. I had no idea what was going to get it off, so I figured I would put together a video to at least show you guys how to get out of them. Um, I'm sorry it's not like, <laughs> just wipe and you're done, but um, unfortunately a lot of this stuff has been designed to be water resistant and waterproof, so it doesn't just come off that easily. Um, but yeah, uh, so that's that. Thanks for watching. I look amazing. Okay.